Right, we're going to look at a few trig facts here which might help us with a few questions involved in Mechanics 1. So, the first one is that tan theta is always equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. And you can check that using a calculator if you want to. Fact 2 is to do with a right angle triangle of length 1, 1. Now, because it's a right angle triangle and both sides are 1 and 1, we know that it's an isosceles triangle, which means these two angles are 45. So this one and the one up here is also 45. Now, using Pythagoras, we can find this longest side to be 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to 2. So this length here is the square root of 2. Now, we can use this to help us find out what sine of 45 is equal to. We can use it to find what cos of 45 is equal to and what tan of 45 is equal to. So, sine of 45 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so it's 1 over the square root of 2. Cos 45 is equal to the adjacent 1 over root 2 again. But tan of 45 is the opposite 1 divided by the adjacent one, which is 1. Now, fact number 3 is to do with a equilateral triangle of sides 2. Now, if you split this in half, you're going to end up with a new triangle. And this side now, instead of being 2, we just look at this section. Because it's equilateral, it's half of it, that's going to be 1. And we can find this last side by, yet again, using Pythagoras. So this time it's going to be, because we find a shorter side, you're going to do the following. You're going to do 2 squared minus 1 squared to get that shorter side, which is equal to um, 3. So this side is the square root of 3. Now, two things about this. As it's an equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle means all the angles are exactly the same, so there's 180 degrees in a triangle, so each angle must be 60 degrees. So that's 60 degrees, but this angle is half of 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees. Now, we can use this to find two things. We can find sine 30, tan 30, and cos 30, and we can also find sine 60, cos 60, and tan 60. So, let's look at 30 first. So sine of 30 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or half. Cos of 30 is equal to the adjacent, which is root 3, over 2. And the tan of 30 is equal to 1 over root 3. Let's look at the sign of 60 now. 60, so we're looking here now, so root 3 over 2, cos of 60 is a half, because it's adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan of 60 is um, opposite, which is root 3 over 1, which we can just write as root 3. So there are three facts that might help you for mechanics 1 and trigonometry questions.